Man, what's up, y'all, man? It's your homeboy, whatever, man. Just popping up real quick, man, with my reaction to the Jordanis Ugas versus Manny Pacquiao fight from last night. Um, you know, I'm out here smoking the H. Upman Habana Cuba, my favorite Cuban cigar. Sipping on some Uncle Nears. But, uh, man, you know, Ugas uh, pulled the fight out, man. You know, Manny Pacquiao... Uh, Took an L last night. Not the worst L, but he took an L. An L is an L regardless, right? Um, I didn't know what to expect, man. You know, I knew Ugas was going to be game because this is the biggest name of his career, right? Didn't know what to expect from Manny Pacquiao, 42 years old, two-year layoff. You know, um, you knew he was going to be up for it, but... At that age, with that ring rust, you wonder, you know, what the result was going to be. Uh, but, you know, before the fight, I said one of the keys to the fight for Ugas was to counter Manny Pacquiao when he can and to go to the body. And in this fight... He didn't counter him every time, but he did have some effective counter punching going on. Man, that right hand, he was slipping in there, you know, when available. Um, but Ugas, man, he was he was hard to hit. You know, Pacquiao had trouble hitting Ugas. Um, he got away from most of Pacquiao's shots or blocked them, you know. So when Pacquiao came in with his typical flurries, um, a lot of those fun punches either partially landed or they were blocked. And some of them, you know, completely missed. He was ducking down or moving out of the way of uh, not only Manny's bigger punches, because Manny did, you know, I don't want to say swing for defenses, but he threw some punches with bad intentions. Um, I don't know if any of those landed. If if they did, only a couple. Um, you know, but uh, those typical flurries, you know, if Pacquiao hits you with one, he's usually going to hit you with at least one or two more if he lands, you know, one of those first couple punches, um, if he doesn't land the first couple, he comes in and throws three, four or five, you know, at a time, one of those shots, two of those shots, three of those shots are, are typically going to hit you. Um, I don't know. He struggled to Manny Pacquiao struggled to find his range. You Ugas used the jab to keep the fight at a distance. Um, it was effective, uh, when it did land, you know, uh, Manny Pacquiao threw tons of jabs trying to find distance, um, you know, because you want to set your offense up or most fighters want to set their offense up off of the jab. Um, and while he did land some jabs, Ugas landed more jabs. Pacquiao threw more jabs, but Ugas was able to use the jab to fight the fight at his range. And really, when you look at it like, yeah, Manny Pacquiao came in and tried to do some of the things that he typically does. Um, and he continued to do so through the fight, but this was a fight that was fought the way Ugas wanted the fight to be fought. Um, he used he effective body work. I said if he wanted to win this fight, he had to go to the body, and he did just that. Um, and he landed, man, he landed some good body shots, and you knew that it also affected Manny Pacquiao because Pacquiao was complaining every time he got hit to the body that Ugas was throwing low. And there were one shot that might have strayed low, you know, not much, um, you know, where they had actually paused it, gave the warning, you know, that, that shot was borderline low, but not really. You know, I've seen much worse, but low is low, right, if it was a little bit below the belt. But even the even the referee going through the fight, as, Mac as Pacquiao, excuse me, continued to complain about it, the referee... Stopped warning Ugas because those were legit body shots. He he just didn't like the body work that was going on. He didn't like getting hit to the body. I seen that with Adrian Broner. I seen it with Keith Thurman. You know, at this age, Manny Pacquiao was not gonna like getting hit to the body. Now, Manny said that his his legs, you know, weren't there. You know, he's got a history of of cramps and um, you know, in some fights and not being able to move around the way he wants to. And that may have been the case. He said that was the case. Um, but you want to take somebody's legs away, make them less effective. The body work is where to go. So even if he did have those issues, you know, with cramps, you take the combination of the two. 
throw them together. And, you know, Ugas did what he had to do. Um, you know, the two year layoff, it clearly didn't do clearly didn't do him any favors. It did not do Manny Pacquiao any favors. Um, but you can't knock Manny Pacquiao. He came back. He was clearly rusty. Um, I don't know, but, but you, can you say he's rusty or can you say that he's just old without seeing him fight again? We, you can't say which one was which, but you take two years off, especially at that age. Not everybody's, uh, you know, had, had those skills like that at the end of their career where they could fight once a year, once every year and a half, you know, et cetera, like Floyd Mayweather was doing and still remain competitive. However, Manny Pacquiao is one of the people who has gone, you know, a year, almost two years, you know, before and still been able to be competitive. Um, just, you know, father time catches up with you. Um, you know, if I got to be honest, um, some of those right hands that landed from Ugas, the straight rights, that looping right hook where he was looping around Manny's guard, um, So, so, you know, y'all want to talk trash and stuff about my uh, last video where, you know, I was talking about how Manny Pacquiao was lucky, in a sense, that Errol Spence got injured and Ugas was the, you know, the, the step-in fighter. Um, had Errol Spence been in the ring with Manny Pacquiao, it would have been a massacre last night. I'm sorry. It Mosquitoes around here. Um, it would have been a massacre. Nothing short of that. Um, would it have been a slightly different fight? <laughs> Maybe. But if Ugas was able, if, if Pacquiao was going to cramp up like that and not be able to move, um, Errol Spence would have just picked him off. He would have just picked him off all night. And I got to be honest with you, man. Like, he's not my favorite fighter. Right. Manny Pacquiao is not my favorite fighter, um, though I don't dislike Manny Pacquiao or anything like that. I dislike the you know, if, if you want to say Manny Pacquiao was a steroid user or something like that, um, you know, because he refused certain tests or what have you, um, what he was supposedly the delay in fighting Floyd Mayweather. Um, you know, he moved up all those weight divisions and carried his power, whatever, you know. Say what you want about Manny Pacquiao. Manny Pacquiao had a great career, has had a great career. I think Manny Pacquiao should hang him up, though. He doesn't have anything left to prove. No matter what, no matter what anybody says, no, no matter what anybody believes about him, Manny Pacquiao was an excellent fighter, you know? Um, who moves up, you know, basically he's moved up what? 30 plus pounds when you go from the weight division he started in to, you know, welterweight. Um, and he's been successful in all of those weight divisions. Who else does that? There's people that can't move up one weight division, you know, in their career, let alone what six or seven. And, and don't even quote me. It might be eight or nine. I, I really exact number. I don't know without looking it up. Um, you know, but Manny Pacquiao has never, at least to my knowledge, I can't recall Manny Pacquiao ducking anybody. Please come in the comments and correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so, you know, much respect to Manny Pacquiao, man. He fought everybody. He won some. He lost some. He chose to go to to continue to fight top level competition because, OK, he had this result against Ugas and Ugas ultimately was the the. Uh, you know, the fight that he had last night. Um, and Ugas is a, is still a, I mean, he's a champion in the welterweight division. He's still a top welterweight. Um, but, you know, he chose to go out fighting the best. If, if it wasn't Ugas, he was going to fight Errol Spence, who arguably, you know, depending on who you, who you talk to, it's either him or Terrence Crawford, who most say are the best in the division. And he was in there prepared to fight the best in the division at 42 years old. Um, 
you know, what I was worried was going to happen was that Manny Pacquiao was going to get knocked out. Had he been in there with the bigger puncher, I think he would have got knocked out. I believe Ugas only has um, something like 12, maybe I think 12 knockouts over the course of his career. Um, as clean as Ugas was catching him, I thought I see Manny maybe buckle a little bit once on one of those big right hands, but um, he held, you know, he held his composure. Um, you know, as far as if this is a final fight for Manny Pacquiao, I think it should be. Um, you know, a lot of, you see a lot of great fighters, you know, they continue to fight. They don't know when to quit. They still think they have all their skills or what have you. They don't realize that it's diminishing and they continue to fight. And then they end up getting, you know, like Bernard Hopkins knocked out the ring or, you know, they end up, ends up in some sort of brutal, you know, knockout. Um, Manny Pacquiao, yes, he got beat by Ugas, but, and yes, you know, his, his face was scarred up a little bit. Um, but, you know, it wasn't a, a complete and total ass whooping. Um, you know, I mean, who wants to see, you don't want to see these legends go out that are fighting, you know, maybe at, at too high of an age. You don't want to see them go out just getting the shit beat out of them. You know what I'm saying? Manny Pacquiao is a likable dude. So I, I don't want to see him go out like that. So I really don't think Manny Pacquiao should come back and fight anybody else unless he wants to come back, finish his career with a win. I mean, he's fought enough fights. He's fought enough people. He's done enough in the sport that if he wants to come back, and fight somebody that is lower level competition that he can beat somebody that, you know, you know, he should beat. then I'm not opposed to that. If that's how he wants to close out his career. Um, but you know, he said he wasn't going to make a decision last night, but if he is truly going to run for the presidency in the Philippines, I'm sorry, you cannot be the president of the country of any country and carry on a professional boxing career, even if it's just another fight or two. So I believe that if he if he does announce that he is going to go ahead and run for president, I don't think we see Manny Pacquiao back in the ring again unless he's even even it. I don't even think he could slip in like a farewell fight uh, while he's on this campaign trail if he wants to come back and fight real quick. So, you know, with that said, man, I really believe that we've seen the last of Manny Pacquiao, but that remains to be seen. Um Again, though, salute to your Dennis Ugas. Um, he did what he had to do to win. Salute to Manny Pacquiao for continuing to fight top-level competition throughout his career. Um, and salute to boxing, man, because Manny, you know, uh, one of the things I said was I didn't think if, if boxing wasn't done with Manny Pacquiao or potentially done with Manny Pacquiao, I didn't think there was any way that Ugas would win this fight by decision unless he dominated Pacquiao from bell to bell. And while he did control, in my opinion, um, it was an eight round to four round fight, but Pacquiao did not get dominated bell to bell. Um, he was competitive as he could be in some of those rounds, you know, he, I mean, the punch stats were, were similar. Ugas just landed at a much higher percentage. Um, and you know, he outlanded Pacquiao, I believe too, but, um, you know, salute the boxing for, we see all these bad decisions. They, they, the judges did the right thing last night. He clearly won the fight. Um, it wasn't a blowout either way. There wasn't a bullshit card from anybody. Um, you know, there wasn't like a 118 to 110 card or some, you know, some bullshit like that. Um, all the cards were close. They were all in favor, favor of Ugas. And I think that the fight was called exactly the way the majority of us seen it. So that's all I got, man. I just wanted to share my thoughts on the fight. Um, you can follow me on Instagram or Twitter at whatever man, W-H-A-T-E-V-A underscore man. Like my video, comment, share, subscribe. Um, please feel free to share your feedback on the fight. Um, if you felt, you know, anything different, if you see something different uh, going forward for Ugas or Manny Pacquiao, 
We'll see what Ugas does next. I would like to see Ugas uh, unify. He said he wants to unify. Bud Crawford, Errol Spence. Choice is yours. I'm gone.